South Africa filed a lawsuit against Israel to the ICJ. But does Israel commit genocide? In 1920, around 600,000 Arabs lived in the territory that the British mandate called Palestine. Typically, when genocide is committed, you can see it clearly on a graph representing the population. For instance, you can see the devastating dip in numbers with the genocide in Rwanda, Cambodia, and of the Jewish people in Europe during the Holocaust. And here is the graph of the Gaza population. Today, there are 12 million Palestinians, and more than half of them are living in Israel, Gaza, and the West Bank. Clearly, if Israel were to commit genocide, there would be way fewer Palestinians now than there once were. Right? The Gaza Strip is one of the most densely populated regions in the world, accommodating 5,479 individuals per square kilometer. Hamas uses civilian infrastructure, such as hospitals, schools, mosques, and residential neighborhoods for terror purposes. Hamas's biggest command and control center is located underneath Shifa Hospital, which is the largest medical complex in the Gaza Strip. According to international laws of war, when a terrorist organization has embedded itself within civilian infrastructure, it becomes a legitimate military target. Since the war began on October 7 by Hamas, the State of Israel and the IDF have noted several times that they are not fighting the Gazan civilians, nor the Palestinian people, but that Israel and the IDF is fighting the Hamas terrorist organization. Allah! Allah! 